What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the world according to Briggs. This week we're going to take a little bit light. No stats, no studies. We are just going to look at all 50 states and we're going to rank all 50 states by their state nicknames. State nicknames are very important. They give the state an identity to the people that don't know much about the state. They're there to promote tourism and curiosity for the state. As an example, if I told you my cousin's nickname in high school was the Palm Pilot, you'd want to know what's the backstory. Why did they call him the Palm Pilot 10 years before the Palm Pilot was ever invented? State nicknames can be powerful. They can tell you about the history of a state, they can tell you about the people of a state, and they can tell you about the land. Some states have some well thought out nicknames that have meaning, and some have nicknames like someone forgot that the nickname was due until about 10 minutes before they had to turn it in. On this video, we're going to be ranking all 50 states by their respected nicknames and give you a little backstory to how they came up with that nickname. On this video, we're going to start from the absolute worst and work our way up to the best. So if we're talking about the worst, it's got to be number 50. Oregon. The abbreviation for Oregon is OR, and the full nickname for the state is the Beaver State. This is the absolute worst. I live in the Beaver State, and I think this one is ridiculous. So it's like a giant rat that swims around and clogs up streams and creeks. Who picked this name? Did they go to like the local kindergarten and ask them to choose one, and they picked Beaver, which was the second choice, right behind Unicorn? I get it. We have a lot of beavers in this state, and that has nothing to do with the strip clubs, which we have a lot of too. Beavers were a major industry back in the 17 and 18 hundreds. But beavers? We have a lot of really cool waterfalls. Why not go with something like that? Or even about, how about the rain? That would be good. We have a ton of trees. We had a great logging history. That would be great. They have a secondary one called the Union State, and I searched for about an hour and I found nothing on it. But it is their secondary name. Number 49. South Carolina. The abbreviation for South Carolina is SC. The full nickname is the Palmetto State. South Carolina decided it should name itself after a bush. Technically a tree, but it's really a bush. The Palmetto tree is what it is, but it's like a palm tree that forgot to grow a respectable trunk, like a palm tree in Hawaii or California. It is actually called the Sable Palmetto, but it has other names. The Palmetto, the Cabbage Palmetto, the Blue Palmetto, the Carolina Palmetto, the Common Palmetto, Swamp Cabbage, and Sable Palm. Swamp Cabbage, that sounds kind of weird. Anyway, that's South Carolina, and they don't go for a backup nickname. They're just sticking with the Palmetto State. It's on their coins and it's on their flag. Number 48. Wyoming. The abbreviation for a Wyoming is WY. The full nickname for the state is the Equality State. This one has a great reason why it should use this nickname, sort of, but it really doesn't fit the state. Wyoming was the first state to grant women the right to vote in 1869. This is, you know, long before the 19th Amendment, which guaranteed that, and that was in 1920, so they were well ahead of the curve, but the reason why was kind of weird. They needed more voting citizens to meet the requirements for statehood. That's the only reason they did it. So I guess Wyoming was cooking the books, so to speak. This action led to the nickname the Suffrage State, then later the Equality State. Its backup nickname is far better. It's the Cowboy State. That fits Wyoming, not the Equality State, which is really not what they were trying to do is give women rights. They were just kind of, you know, playing a game with numbers. Number 47. Mississippi. The abbreviation for Mississippi is MS. The full nickname of the state is the Magnolia State, and there are magnolias all over this state. The magnolia is also the state flower and the state tree. The state went all in on magnolias. Obviously, both the state nickname and flower are featured on the Mississippi Quarter right here. This nickname blows. I have a new one for them. The state that's always picked last in kickball. Now, they do have their own backup one, which is the Hospitality State. Mississippi people are very, very nice and very hospitable. That one makes sense. The one that doesn't make sense they also have a third one. They're called the Mudcat State. Mudcat. That sounds like the name of a minor league baseball team. Number 46. Nebraska. The abbreviation for Nebraska is N-E. Their full nickname is the Cornhusker State. Now right now, you probably want to ask me, Briggs, what is a Cornhusker? I'm going to tell you. A Cornhusker is someone who grows corn competitively. Yes, this is a sport in the state of Nebraska. I bet so is being bored to tears. I could never imagine getting excited to go to a corn growing competition. If you know someone who thinks this is fun and something to do, you should check in on them every once in a while because they ain't right in the head. In 1945, the corn Cornhusker State became the official nickname of Nebraska. Apparently, at some point, they were the Beef State, too. The Beef State. Okay, I imagine it had something to do with cows. Cows and corn. Sounds like something you do on a lot of flat land, like Nebraska. Number 45. 
Arkansas. The abbreviation for Arkansas is AR and the full nickname is the Natural State. That doesn't sound like a state nickname, it sounds like a beer commercial. But Arkansas has a lot of natural beauty, hence the nickname the Natural State. Arkansas is one of the more amazing states when it comes to nature. The Ozarks sort of make up for all the bad stuff this state has to offer. But really, the Natural State, it's just sort of a bland nickname. They could have done so much better. The Ozark State would have been better. They do have some backup ones. The Land of Opportunity and the Wonder State. The Wonder State may be the Land of Opportunity. That's just a reference to family reunions and single people in Arkansas. But the Natural State, even though it's bland, it is kind of fitting for this state, especially the way the people treat the land. They care about the land in this state. As an example, we talk about Superfund sites later on in this video, you'll see. And some of the states have over a hundred Superfund sites. These are toxic dumps that are being cleaned up. Arkansas only has nine. Others have in the hundreds. Number 44. Idaho. The abbreviation for Idaho is ID. The full nickname is the Gem State. Idaho is known as the Gem State because the Shoshone Native American word for Gem of the Mountain is Idaho. They found out later this was a load of crap. Some dude told everyone the natives told him that that was the word for Gem of the Mountain, Idaho. When they asked the natives, they said they didn't even know what this dude was talking about. Turns out, he finally fessed up and said he named it after a girl he met named Ida. I don't know where he got the ho part, but I have my suspicions. So, the Gem State is like in the first place and then to find out it's all about a lie they should probably just call it the big lie state or maybe the dirty little secret state or something like that number 43 Illinois. Illinois' abbreviation is IL. The full nickname is the Prairie State. The Prairie State is fitting, I guess. They have some flat lands and a lot of farms, but they also have Chicago. Couldn't they have tied that in? Maybe the home of Al Capone or something? Or, or even better, the state that killed Geraldo Rivera's career. That would be fabulous. Illinois has a second nickname after Abraham Lincoln. They call it the Land of Lincoln. Lincoln lived in Illinois when he was chosen as the President of the United States in 1861. He was originally from Kentucky. That's where he was born. Then in Indiana, and then he died in Washington, D.C. So, why is this the land of Lincoln? I mean, he was there when he was chosen for a job. Big deal. It also has a third one that should be Oregon's. It's the Rainy State. That's, that's Oregon's nickname, or at least it should be. What's Illinois doing with it? Number 42. Louisiana. The abbreviation for Louisiana is LA, sort of like Los Angeles. The full nickname is the Pelican State. There are more pelicans in Louisiana than most any other place, so Louisiana is known as the Pelican State. Okay, they got a lot of pelicans. I'm not a fan of pelicans. I think they're kind of useless. Well, I didn't think they were useless a few minutes ago. I have to tell you, I wrote two minutes worth of solid material on pelicans delivering babies. And while I was recording it, I guess my wife heard it, stuck her head in the room and said, storks bring babies, you idiot, not pelicans. So that was that. Now, they have four other solid nicknames that they should go by. The Bayou State. Absolutely. They got bayous everywhere. The Child of the Mississippi. It's at the end of the Mississippi River. Totally makes sense. I like that one a lot better. If it was the Child of Mississippi like the state, I totally ax that one. But it's also known as the Sportsman's Paradise. Tons of fishing, tons of everything there. And it's also known as the boot because it's shaped like a boot. That one they throw out. But the other three are pretty good. And number... 41, I guess. New Jersey. The abbreviation for New Jersey is NJ. Full nickname is the Garden State, which... I think it's very misleading. In 1876, Abraham Browning presented a speech during which he mentioned New Jersey as being the Garden State, and the nickname stuck ever since. Become an official in 1954. I guess they drug their feet a bit getting this one up for a vote. I hear they were on the fence between that and the Toxic Waste State. I find it ironic that they go by the Garden State, yet they have the most contaminated locations in the country. They lead the country in super fun sites and rude people. The rude people thing are just as toxic as some of their land. It's really weird. New Jersey doesn't have any other nicknames. They just stuck with Garden State this whole time. Weird. The New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection oversees the Superfund program in New Jersey. According to them, as of March 10th, 2016, there were still 105 Superfund sites listed on the national priority list in New Jersey. 36 additional sites have already been cleaned up and deleted from the list. Now, to give you an idea how bad that is, California, which is like three times, four times the size of New Jersey, only has 90. And Texas, which is huge too, only has 53. Calling themselves the Garden State is a bit of a joke. Alright, so that is the first of five lists. We're gonna have another one out tomorrow. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I liked them. Don't forget all the links below. Give this video a big thumbs up. Tell me what you thought. Don't forget to subscribe if you already haven't. Everybody have a great day. Be nice to each other.